Kevin Gaston Goy uh, with Storm Sound uh, doing a rig rundown. With, uh, I play with Corey Wong. So, see the Corey Wong uh, thing. So, I guess we can start with the organ. Uh, this is a kind of, we call it a custom chop. So, it's a 1960s A100, which is just like a B3, just a different case. Um, built into this new uh, custom case that a, a guy named Rich Warian from Minnesota Organ Service built uh, for me. Uh, so brand new case, all the guts are from the 60s. Uh, real, real thing, we uh, like to open up the back because it looks cool, basically, you know. And people know it's like a real thing, you know. But there is no, uh, it doesn't affect the sound uh, or anything, it's just kind of for design. But uh, yeah, you made this all really cool. Um, that is run to my Leslie uh, 145, uh, which is a, a little bit s smaller, uh, shorter Leslie, uh, good for touring. Uh, and uh, we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, one thing about this organ, it's a custom job, so I got an effects loop built in, which is kind of unique. Um, this is running to my uh, effects pedals. So I got compression, um, delay, and kind of whatever. I have an HX top over here. So this organ running through this effects loop um, and back into the organ into the Leslie. So kind of color the tone a little bit. I got like a boost on there. Anything I want with this HX stop. Uh, some reverb. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I got a foot switch here for the Leslie uh, over here. So I can speed up and slow down the tone. I'll give you a little taste of that. So the uh, hands are occupied. I can speed up and slow down. There's a fast and slow. Fast, slow. Very handy when I'm doing like multiple keyboard stuff, you know. Um, I got a, a, vol a foot a uh, volume swell pedal another old uh, relic actually um, you know really nice uh, de and pedal it's one of those pedals where when you plug it in some volume pedals cut the volume a little bit this one does not and it's a very gradual swell up that's why I choose this pedal um, Oregon also has a this one actually has two Leslie outputs I'm only got only using one but that's kind of nice um, also have a quarter inch out of here if I want to use it, if I'm running to a, an amp or something, uh, very slick. Uh, the reverb doesn't work on this, that's why I have a pedal, uh, an effects loop. Um, and uh, oh yeah, check out the some cool design work on this actually. Like, you know, it looks pretty neat. It's got my initials here. And yeah, it's, it's, it's cool, it's got a vibe, you know. Um, and I've had this for, I don't know, five years now hundreds and hundreds of gigs and it's never I've never had an issue it's insane the like rich does a killing job out of Minnesota um, yeah it's, it's killing it's great so it's nice to be able to bring this on the road um, we could do we could start with the north so obviously this is a uh, I like to think this is a smaller rig you know uh, very economical I have to be kind of creative uh, to get the kind of tones I want um, so I'll kind of explain how I do that. Um, I'm using all four outputs of my Nord. So basically, these two, stereo is going to the house, uh, stereo out uh, deep into the DIs. So that's all of my pianos and synths will be running out of these outputs. Um, and then I have two more outputs. So I have uh, this Twin Reverb Tone Master Solid State Amp that Fender graciously gave to me at the beginning of the tour. I, uh, last tour I had a Fender Silverface from the 70s and it broke in like a week. And I didn't have a proper case for it and I'd love to bring that again, but it's, the Solid State's been, I mean, it's been, it's been great so far. So, uh, you know, not gonna worry about tooth or anything. That's going uh, direct out, actually it's direct out of that to the house. So no mic. You know, which is convenient for feedback and all that stuff. Um, but I have two uh, two inputs, so I'm running the Nord Whirly Rhodes and Dry Clav 
into this channel. And I have Farfisa and Clavinet through this channel. Now I have Farfisa and Clavinet through this channel because, or with wah, I have a wah pedal here. So this wah is coming from, I don't, I don't know if this is like the best order, but if you can keep up, this is channel four going to my wah and then to the amp. This channel three is the, uh, the whirly and the roads, which are not going to the wah, going directly into the amp. So I have separate outputs. I can assign them on the Nord, super slick. Um, and so here we go, whirly, wah pedal not engaged because it's not running to the wah. And I can switch to like a clav. I, and I have my pedal. Now the Nord has wah features on it, but I, uh, I like the color of this actual, uh, this wah pedal in particular. Um, I, I, yeah, I just kind of like it better. And uh, so I can, I can seamlessly switch between whirly and wah or farfisa. I love the swell uh, with the wah pedal on a farfisa, like the, kind of like a cutoff, like a filter thing. Um, I did a lot of that on my new uh, record that I released, which we talked about in our, our podcast. Your, your podcast um, but it's a cool tone you know i've been experimenting with that so clav farfisa channel four channel three just straight into the amp um and uh yeah, that's kind of kind of a neat um thing yeah so that's uh i guess we could also talk about oh this thing here we got uh we're running ears for this uh so I got a iPad here with all my mix, which is super slick. Um, there we go. So I got this here with all, every single channel I can, you know, turn up and down uh, with my own in-ear mix, which is uh, very handy. We started doing that last tour and it's been killing. Um, let me think. I guess we could go over some of the tones that I have running through. Actually, I think that's, I'll show you. Got Rhodes. That's not no wah. That's gonna be house. Ottawa. Ottawa. Dry clap. Got some warble on it. I guess the rest of them are going to the house, which we don't have stage volume right now. Uh, so I have a lot of synths, different uh, uh, synths and pianos. Uh, I use Upright for this gig, for piano, um, exclusively actually. It's got, uh, to me it's got more color. It's not as, some of the grands get thin and they kind of get lost in the in, a, in like a big band. and. I don't know, I'm attracted to the uprights. It's got a lot more vibe. Uh, you know, even on like kind of subtle, softer tunes. Um, yeah, it's got vibe. So that's one thing. Um, yeah, I guess that's probably, let me think. That's probably about it. Then I have, uh, also have a this guy for volume on the Nord for a certain sense. I can assign this to anything I want to on the Nord. Um, often it's set to volume. Sometimes it's set to uh, cutoff frequency uh, filter. Um, and then when I'm not using an amp, I have this for my for wah, but I'm doing a separate thing. Um, yeah, the Nord makes it super easy to be able to switch between tones and send to different outputs. So I've really taking advantage of that. That was the first time I did it, did it with uh, uh, this tour. I thought I was about to uh, the collection plate. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah you like know, that. it's nice, yeah. Oregon's got that gospel tone, you know. Man, when I heard that, I was like, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've seen gospel, so I'm. Oh, right on, yeah, man. Nice tone, you know, yeah. got that classic, classic sounds. This is a Moarca. We started uh, doing a bit where we, uh, a tiny instruments section of, of portion of the show. Uh, it, you know, that's kind of set up where we uh, we want to bring instruments that you could fit on a, a carry-on for, for an airplane because touring sucks with, uh, you know, just in general on planes, you know, with mm -hmm. all this gear. Um, so I got Melodica. Uh, it's a Yamaha. It's a P, uh, P37D. It's It's... It's tough. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's a it's a hard instrument. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it's kind of awkward. So we started doing this uh, uh, last tour, and it's it kind of gets a little out of tune as it get lower. And I mean, honestly, the whole thing is just kind of not the greatest in tune. Uh, I know there's ways to, to to tune it. I don't know if there's actually a way to make it sound good either way, you know. But uh, I respect it. I think it's it's fun, you know. Um, yeah, I got to get better at it. But uh, yeah. Lotica, spit valve. <laughs>